I am in charge of haematology basically. I work on the bench, validating the results. I also am in charge of kind of ordering reagents, approving staff annual leave, the running like in the haematology lab. If we get a new PC equipment, validating it, make sure it's fit for use, updating SOPs, staff training, a bit of everything. I'm a medical laboratory assistant here at the Golden Jubilee. I'm also a fourth year biomedical science student at Caledonian University and I initially came to work here um, as a placement student in January and then landed myself a medical lab assistant job on the bank here at the Golden Jubilee. So my main role is the first point of contact in the lab, uh, the MLAs basically receive all the samples firsthand um, and we do all the processing of the samples and preparation of the samples before they are handed over to the biomedical scientists to be analysed. I worked as a medical secretary for about 20 years and when I was typing up the reports I was always really interested in how does the doctor know that that person has that disease and how do they know to give them the specific medication to, to help with that. After 20 years of wondering I then got a job as a healthcare support worker in microbiology to find out a bit more and during that time, during four years of that six years, I completed my biomedical science degree whilst working full time and this is me now in my first post as a biomedical scientist. I've done an integrated degree which means that you get a placement as part of your degree and that meant that I went out on placement and done a portfolio so I could gain my certificate of competence and apply for HCPC registration so you can't practice as a biomedical scientist unless you're HCPC registered so it's just a kind of probably a better way of doing it. People have came into it like for all different routes but it just meant that once I graduated I could apply for a job straight away because I had that certificate. So I graduated in 2014 in the summer and then I started this job in October and then I went back to uni in 2019 to study my masters um, and I'm just waiting to complete my project which has been put on hold because of Covid. I've always had a keen interest in medicine and science um, however I left it a little bit later in life to um, take on this journey so I decided um, after working for a long time in optometry that I decided I wanted to get into science and I returned to education in my late 20s to become a biomedical scientist um, and as I said that's my fourth year position now and um, having an MLA position, the lab assistant job, really gives me a good feel for um, a future career in biomedical science. We receive in specimens from the medics to try and find out what bacteria, viruses may be causing infection. So we all have bacteria, bacteria are all over us, some, most of it good, some of it's bad, so when it's the bad bacteria it can cause infection. So when we get a specimen, for instance if you've had a sore throat, you go to the doctor, they take a swab, the swab would come here and it's the job of the biomedical scientist to then find out what bug it is that's causing your infection identify that, let the doctor know and also recommend antibiotics that are going to help kill the bacteria so that you feel well again. It's almost that adrenaline, you know, when you get the phone call to say there's an emergency, it's kind of like, right, let's go. That's kind of what happened, you know, at the start of the COVID pandemic when, so we were implementing COVID testing and stuff like that here. So it was a real kind of team effort to get the analyzer um, implemented and get everybody trained so we could provide COVID testing. MLAs, biomedical scientists, doctors, nurses, we're all a link in a chain that basically ultimately comes together to get very sick patients healthy and, and fit again. So being part of a team that provides that patient care and takes those samples, processes them and allows them to help doctors and nurses to treat patients effectively makes me feel really proud to be part of a team like that. Well you have to be dedicated and you have to always have the patient at the forefront of what you're doing. You have to do things methodically. Always be willing to ask if you're unsure because this is a patient at the forefront of it all. You absolutely have to have good timekeeping, good time management. Um, I think that goes without saying in any position, but especially in a working lab and an NHS hospital, time is key. We have a lot of very sick patients here and you have to be able to think fast, think on your feet and be able to process samples accurately and really quickly and efficiently and be able to be a team player as well. There's so many wonderful opportunities out there and I would say if it's something that you're passionate about, go in with it wholeheartedly. 
take every opportunity you can get to do training. Um, anything that you can get your hand in, do it. Any online seminars, anything that you can participate in is, is always really, really beneficial for your career. I've certainly learned a lot in the time that I've been here, both as a student on placement and as an MLA. Um, and definitely an MLA position is a brilliant foot in the door to work your way up to something a bit more advanced if you wanted to. If it's something you're interested in, do it. It's so rewarding, it's fascinating, every day you're learning, so exciting.